Welcome one and all Two guys, two things Oh shit, we're starting The podcast where we uh, solve world problems And I am William Shatner That's what you sound like Okay Welcome um, one and all Welcome one and all We are we, we, no, we, we, uh, Podcast we take two topics that have been in the news or trending of some sort right. Talk about for 15 minutes That's what we do Yes, on most nights. And also fight crime. Tonight's going to be different. Oh, are we recording? Yes. And we also fight crime. Tonight's going to be different. We just said that. (laughs) So, and then, okay, fine. But we do have, you know, our studios, which, you know, we do have this on YouTube, by the way. You can listen to the podcast. Yeah. Or, I guess, watch it. Watch the podcast. Or, even better... Put it on YouTube. Don't look at it. Just listen to it right. on YouTube. Watch right. Watch it on Apple. Shh. Listen, Apple whatever you do, give it thumbs up. Give it five stars. Rate it. Review it. Oh, God, Help no. us out. No, 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 no. No, no. I know you don't like you this. I know you don't like the show. I know you don't like the show. I don't. But listen. I don't want sh- to. I feel like, like, is it shilling? Shrilling? Sh- shill. I'm a shill. H-I-L-L. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shill. I'm but I'm Vince Gilling for I, the. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. I, I know you don't. I know you don't. But but it, it, it but it's it's definitely needed. Okay, let's bring it up at the end. We'll talk about it at the end. But I want to talk about our podcast studio for those that are watching on YouTube. Uh, Chloe is doing a great job. I mean, Chloe now. So we had the Beatles mm-hmm. b- background last week, and now look, right. oh, we got we got Bruce. Oh my! We talk God. about Bruce a lot. Yeah, he's okay. Do you think he? Do you think he stopped making music like a little o- over the hill? Oh my god! Give me like I forgot that last time we talked about Bruce Springsteen, you said Huey Lewis was just as good, if not better. <laughs> he is. Shut up! I like so many more Huey Lewis songs than, oh, hold than on. Bruce Springsteen. Who who was the uh, what was the video you had me watch? Jungle Love. Who, Jungle Love. Who was it? Morris Day in the Time. Okay, that's a thing. Everybody knows Fine. Morris Day in the Time. Fine, but I don't think Morris Morris Day is probably the best '80s pop star, according to you. Probably. Too. Listen to me. Forget Morris Day. I know for sure that I like a lot more Huey Lewis songs than Bruce Springsteen. Songs. Oh my god! Okay, all right. I all do right. like I do like Philadelphia. Yeah. Philadelphia. Okay, that's best Bruce song ever. Okay, all right. Let's let's move on. So we don't have uh, a theme song again. This seems like it like that is the norm. A theme. Um, boom, boom, boom. But we do have mm-hmm. this is this is exciting too. We have oh. another person that. Wanted to give the shout out to us. Another guest. So we have another audio. Jason. 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 Oh, fuck. In the booth. Jason. <laughs> you, do, please do your job. Can you play the audio file we have? Great. Okay. So this is this is actually, it, I don't know, is it, is it Lucky? It's the, the, well, the leprechaun from Lucky Charms. What oh, is his name? What is his name? I don't know, but he wanted lucky. to. It seems like it's He lucky. wanted to. Uh, don't. Don't, no, it's it's don't it's, do a it's, 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 it's no. Well, tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, so he wanted. Yeah, it is. So when you listen to this a year from now, realize this was. So here we go. Oh, da, 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 da. oh <laughs> two guys and two things. Oh, oh, I really like to listen to it. Reading my bowl of lucky charms. La di da di da di da. And I get so angry at Chris. Want to kick his ass. Want to kick his ass like Conor McGregor. Oh, da 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 da. Real... Oh God, that's. The... Wow, that was. I, was, I don't know if it was offensive. It was just more... I turned about as red as an Irishman on that one. It's probably offensive. It's okay. It's okay. I can do that because I'm Polish. Oh, um, golly. Tomorrow, look, from what I understand uh, about St. Patrick's Day. Right. On St. Patrick's Day, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's Irish. Right. Have you ever been kissed on, on St. Patrick's Day? Uh, b- probably. Not because of St. Patrick's Day. Well, that's what I'm. You kiss me, I'm Irish. Oh, right. So, Everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. It doesn't mean you get to do that voice. No, no, it wasn't me. That oh. was lucky. That was the lucky charms. I, I think his name's Gilbert. Okay, we're gonna go on. Let, let's to decide who goes first. Tell mm. their story. We have to play our finish our game, and it's uh, we're, we're doing the final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy. Okay, Got and it. and let's see if we if this is the question biggest pop star of the eighties. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go with who is Michael Jackson. Uh, That's not right. What, what do you have, Chris? Uh, I, I wagered 
I wager my house. Uh, who is Huey Lewis? Can you give me a little more specific? Uh, who is Huey Lewis and the News? Oh, you got it! The biggest... I knew it. I knew it. What did what, you wager? Uh, going first on the podcast? Going first on the podcast. Wow! That, then you... That I win Wish at. granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish granted. Damn, I wish I, w- I knew we could have wagered more. We could have like wagered whatever we wanted. Yeah. And I chose to go first. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, and then Calvin Ridley put in one, but eh, he lost fifteen hundred. Okay, go ahead. What, right. do you got? what do you got for us? So this is a little Let me combo. Get 15 minutes on the clock. No, fifteen minutes on the clock. Little combo. Um, trending, sure, why not? But it's a, a couple stories about uh, I don't know dinner disasters. Not to be like head headline writing, right? But dinner disasters. So this is a trending story. Some people, yes. Some of these stories have been trending about some maybe dinner etiquette that I, I was hoping. Dinner etiquette is trending. Listen to me. Before, hold on. Okay. I was hoping we once we hear these stories, we can lend our help. Um. Hold on. Let, let me grab the the newspaper and see if this is trending. Let's see. Here's here's an article written by Huey Lewis. Oh my god, this is. Awesome. Okay, so, but no, no, I I, I want to talk to you about these. And and give I want to give our sage advice. Okay, to, so so to these what what did you find? That, All right, so the uh, first, supposedly trending. So the first, listen to me. <laughs> the first one. Okay. Well, man, the first one. Well, it's a little. I said I said it's a combo. Okay. <laughs> no, you're the worst. All right, so man dumbfounded by fiance's entitled engagement dinner move. Okay. okay. So right. listen. So a man was shocked when his fiance tried to get him to pay for his, her friend's meals. So this oh, man oh, went oh, to Reddit. Okay, wait, wait. He was shocked because what? His fiance yeah. tried to get him to pay for his her friend's meals. This was an engagement. Well, listen. Okay. So he took to Reddit the uh, the whole am I uh, am I the asshole, right? The I'm gonna say he already is. Maybe. I think we think if you already reply to that, right? If you even question if right. you're the asshole, you already are the asshole. Right, right, right. I got it. Yeah. No. Uh, I think okay, so. so Am I the racist? See, when you, see, when well, you say these things... if you ask, is this racist, then yes, it probably is. No, no, is. you say, am I the racist? Yeah. Like, so then probably never, you are. Right. No, I think this is different. Because okay. mo- I think the I think the opposite. Most of the time, if someone's like, am I the asshole here? Usually, like, no, that was crazy. You know, I do that whenever I go to the doctor's office. Like, am I the doctor here? Am I the doctor here? Listen, yeah. listen to me. Listen, doc. So, um... So, uh... <laughs> he proposed to, okay proposed to his fiance last year a lot of a lot of different interests he says and friend groups so already starting out great right that's the first thing he says we have a lot of different interests and a lot of different friend groups it's like okay good choice okay but anyway um so my group of friends are the nerdy side enjoying video games watching movies D D. his fiance's friend group and her personality come from wealthy families very girly he says very girly, wealthy that's what families. He, that's what he said. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Is it like the American Dolls? Is it like the... Yeah, exactly. Um, so they don't mind hanging out with friends, So, okay. but here we go. Um, the fiancé invited him to come out with her friends to celebrate um, for the, the celebrate the engagement. She said, hey, me and my friends okay. w- wanted to celebrate our engagement. Come out to dinner with us. Okay. Cool. That, let's do it. Got it. Okay. Um, one of the friends wanted to try a fancy new restaurant that had just opened. Most of the food items were over 20 plus, 30 plus dollars. Mm. Right? Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. That ain't the sizzler. So he ordered a large appetizer for his dish. Um, the fiance ordered a salad and a cocktail. But her friends, don't say how many, ordered a bunch of drinks and expensive entrees. So when it came, uh, came uh, time to pay the bill, her one friend looks at me and says, Hey, you, you, you're going to be treating us tonight, right? He gave the fiance a look and then a look to the waiter and said, split the check. He just paid for the fiance and himself. Okay. Okay. Sure. So then he posted on Reddit, am I the asshole? He said the fiance didn't speak to him uh, for the entire ride back. It made him, she like made him, she was embarrassed. Okay. So he gets invited. What do you think? So if we, he, okay, well, he, he posts this on Reddit. What are we? What are we giving the advice here? Is he the asshole? He's an asshole. Is he? Yeah. He got invited. Hey, come out to dinner. Hold on. With me and my three, four friends. I get it. I get it. Okay. I'm just saying he's an asshole just for posting on Reddit. 
That's all. That's just that's a given. Interesting. Okay. That's all. That's just a given. Got it. Okay. You want to complain? Be a man about it. Don't complain, asshole. This. Right. Um. How old? Do we know how old they are? No. Because this sounds very young to me. It sounds like a very twenty-ish yeah, move, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. No, I no, I, I totally see where the guy's coming from. Right, because right? yeah, sure, he, right? he just thought like, hey, we're all going out for one. It wasn't my idea. You invited me to, go out. to the restaurant, so like, if anything, you pay for us because it's our engagement. And and, so, and you wanted to, your friends, you wanted to celebrate us. Yeah, exactly. So that's my biggest problem with it, right? Sure. It's it's for the engagement. Hey, let's go out to dinner and celebrate. Right. Then the friends should get together and go, hey, we'll split this, but we'll get your your two. Right, that's obviously what should have happened because it's for them, but it's like, it's it's like, hey, the engagement. It's not an engagement party. I guess it's a celebration. It's like, but it, or it's like inviting someone to their like surprise party and go, oh shit, surprise, happy birthday. Oh my god, thank you everybody. Now you, you gotta get paid for us. You right? got this, right? You didn't know this was happening. Yeah, you but got you're this. For us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be hilarious. So yeah, right. It's a good move, right? Yeah. So is he an asshole for posting on? Reddit. Ah, oh, asshole. Reddit. But outside of that, no. Okay, so so so, how do you handle this? Uh, so I think I don't think he's the asshole either. I, I, knowing me, I probably would have paid. I I don't have the guess to be like no. I I wouldn't have said that at the table. I just would. Oh really? I don't think I, I yeah I would have. Oh, okay. I, and then I would have talked to Jesse afterwards. You know I want to um, I want to celebrate uh. Jesse, she she got mail the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to celebrate? Like, I want to celebrate that. Yeah, let me invite you to yeah. Morton's. Um, hey, you know there's a new new uh, season of Outlander. You want us to go? Can we go celebrate that? Yes. How would you have handled it though? Would you have paid, or or would you have been like him and said, uh, no, we're splitting it, and then paid for well, you?" Well, I don't know how. I mean, I know what needs to happen. I don't know how I would have handled. Well, it. That's what I mean. What I, needs to happen is then you just break up. I, I, well, that's what a lot of people are Move saying. Move on. So look, like so, a lot of people on Reddit are saying the same thing. He, uh, one of them, one, uh, someone said, uh, your fiance made herself look a fool by promising something she had no right to promise. That's a big red flag. So do you think something like that whoa, whoa, sets whoa, a precedent whoa, whoa. for whoa. the rest of the relationship? Are they saying that she's a spy for Russia? Are they trying to, is it, is it, is it turning Anna? What, what is the, what is the show? What is, what is the... The Americans? That's an older show. I'll talk about the one that's, that's right now where oh, she's no the Russian spy. Oh, 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 not a spy. Anna. Whatever. Something. All right. I'm hip. She should have been up front. Why do people feel so entitled to spend other people's money? So a lot of people are saying, you okay. know, you should really think about it if you want to spend the rest of your life with this woman. Ooh. So someone's like really saying, Woo. yo, you got to... Reddit do, do, has opinions. Yeah, is that, you yeah, know, is that a big enough red flag? Obviously, I don't think it's a break the engagement, right? Uh, but it does say a lot about the look, a lot about who she is, I think. These things are dumb. So, I mean... It's just dumb. So, see how eloquent I am? This is why I have a podcast. Right. So I can say things like this. Right. It's just dumb. No, it's just, like, why do we need to have opinions about this? We don't need to have an opinion. Who are we? Well, we he, no, no, no. We, we don't we, know. Who, who we are, he wants opinions. That's why he's an asshole. He posted it. That's why he's an asshole, number one. Right. Because it's like, dude, just handle this in-house. Right. You don't need to involve the whole internet and right. the world. Am I right about this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to me, that's like, that's a dick move. Okay, but, that's fair. But I also realize that that also is our society now. Well, it, listen, it, it, it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, we have a podcast, right? We feel for some reason that we need to be heard. Because we fight crime. Okay. We, Besides the crime fight. We make the world a better place. But yeah, so, I mean, we are broadcasting for the entire world here, Matt. We so are. We don't, all, we don't have all a... All 13 we, followers. Yeah, we don't have a, a say in what we should be saying. Look, if it. we were to stop, right, the, the climate would increase by like three degrees. Right, hundred percent. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant tsunamis. Right, definitely. Would 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 just uh, strike Nebraska. You still haven't weird. answered my question just about weird. how you would have handled it. I, I I don't know. I think I just would have been. Well, again, I don't even know what their age is because like if this would happen to me now, I'd be like, really? You like at the table? You this would say you would say really at like at the table? Well, I probably would, and then my wife would have kicked me underneath right. the table. Right, that's what I'm. Yeah, exactly. I think like that's. I what do I, that a lot where I say things I shouldn't. Like, like, I should wait. Right. So it's just us. Th that's the thing. It's like that. You, Instead, I wait till there's a podcast. Sure. And then sure. I, I tell the whole world. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm an I'm yeah. an asshole too now. I realize. No, well, that's what I mean by I said what I, I would have paid because I, I, at the table I would have been like in my head I been like are you fucking kidding right. me and I'm like oh, oh and I would have paid but then on the way home I would have turned to Jesse and be like what the 
what the fuck, man? This is what needs to happen. You know I mean? Is we need to hear from the fiance. I, sure. She should post on Reddit yeah, her yeah. side of the story. Well, this is kind of this is in, in in on websites now, and like it's it, I'm sh- sure she's seen it. And uh, that's another. Okay, and that's the thing, like. If you post this, if you're the dude, holy shit! Do you not tell her that you? Well, did this? that's the thing, man. That's another part of the story. If if I'm like, no, I'm gonna ask Bruce what he thinks. If Jesse does something, or if I do something to Jesse and she posts it online and it kind of like blows up, yeah, and I read about it, oh my, that's a whole nother conversation. Like maybe I was an asshole that night, but are you fucking kidding me? Three million people are commenting on this now. Right? Maybe you should have just fucking. Business. You should have just came to me, right? Yes. yes. So, uh, so. You still really didn't answer. You, you, would you have paid or not? That that would I that, have that's paid it. that that night. So hold on. Do in this scenario, do I have a hypothetical job outside of podcasting? Because I don't have a lot of money in real life, so I don't. You have the same amount of money you have now. Uh, or, or do you speak about? The I think I would have. Um, I think I would have said, "Hey, I'll pitch in." <laughs> Do they, for do, do do they need a dishwasher? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do some dishes. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's very presumptuous. Okay, so though. this actually happened. This being, this is something that actually happened. Yeah. Uh, years ago, years ago, I I, I had a girlfriend before mm. I was married. Can't believe it. I know, I know. There was one other girl. Me and you are the same. It's like one girlfriend, <laughs> then not my wife. <laughs> That's how we roll. It's like let me try it out. Oh, I get it now. I get it. I get how to be a boyfriend. Cool marriage. Wait, are we the assholes? The, the next girlfriend. Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, that's how you do it, I think. Losers, right? dude. We're the worst. You, one girlfriend, and yep. then the next one, you marry. Just to try it out, be like, I, I understand I like about how, okay, I understand relationships, got it, and then we go for it. This is not advice I would give my children. No, no, no. Uh, 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 I know you're about to tell a story. Yeah, so no, me, no. me and Jesse talk about this all the time. So we we were 21, 22, right, when we when we met. We we moved in two months after we were together. Really? Was it that quick? Two months. Moved in with you. You were only together for that little time two, for that? Two months. And then we moved in together and then didn't been together oh since my then. God. And then and then like then moved out to our own apartment and then got married and all that shit. Wow. But we were together two months. That's it. Wow. It, and so to your point, like if Nora came to me and was like, Hey, this is my boyfriend in October. I'm like, Oh, hey, right. nice to meet you. Then December comes around. She's like, oh, "I'm moving in with him now." I'm like, "Oh, oh no, nope." I mean, nope, nope, nope. You're, nope. you're an adult. You're no, no, twenty. No. I can't tell her no. I know. But in my head, I'm like, "Oh God, no." I know. I know. But yeah, so probably we, same with me. I mean, Andrew and I. See, we got when we got together. We moved in probably like six months after we got together. Right. But, but, but we also like had known each other for so long. Well, so I know. Yeah, different. yours is different. Like I, I knew Jesse. Right. Like. Two months after, before we got together, right. then two months later. That's we, like one of those old, like nineteen forties marriages. Man, if we went to I high just, school together, I yeah. met a, I met a, and then a week later we got yeah, married. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then so, I was shipped off, off to, to Japan. To Hiroshima. Yeah. Is that a, is that a place? Maybe. Okay. Okay, you go. Sorry. Big Hero Six. Um, Big Hero Six. Red Panda. <laughs> Let's just say some more racist Japanese things. Um. Then those I think are Japanese. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Tonka trucks. I don't know. Is that a thing? Tonka. That sounds like a. It doesn't. If I was... let's, just, let's stop. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. When when uh, this is makeup or like, bring in back Lucky uh, Lucky from the Lucky Charms. Okay, Can he come pause, back in? Cut this. Got it. Lucky okay. Charms. All right. Okay. Uh, so no, my the girlfriend. So she was with friends, right? And they went to Denny's, right? And then she called me. Cause she's like, yeah, all my friends. So the friends came in and ordered food, and right. then they bolted and like ditched the restaurant. They they were planning on not paying from the get go. I guess right, but, she didn't know. But she didn't know that she was like, hey. Guys. So she stayed behind. So it wasn't about her necessarily like leave her with the bill. It was like well, we were gonna exactly. Go. Yeah, we were gonna and go. They anyway. thought she was on board. Oh and she wasn't. She's like, no, God. I'm not doing that. And and so then That's so then the I came worst. and I paid it with my mom's credit card. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. Oh my so my mom God. paid for it, right? Sure, but I mean, but I felt like, oh, that's horrible. So yeah, you know. that, I mean, especially I'm, I'm imagining because I remember high school slash beginning of college, like it'd be a, a big group of us, like after rehearsals, after whatever, like seven, eight, like we're gonna go eat at Denny's or Big Bear Diner or whatever the it was Lions at the time. But if if we left one of those nights, it's you know it's a 
good amount. Oh, yeah, I know sure. it's like a little cheap little diner, but it's a good amount. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? And no, like, no, no, no. and by the way, the first asshole part of that is like just doing that for one, right? But then like not letting her know and just like fucking leaving her, like she didn't know the plan. Not that she would have left anyway, right? But well, I mean, she like found the plan out later, I think. As yeah. She dinner win. She's like, I don't know. Right. Like that's that. what I mean. So like, like, cool for her. For for. Oh, absolutely. It's amazing. She just left. But like, because for one, that's a fucked up move to be like in the middle of dinner going, oh, by the way, by the way, Matt, we're not going to pay for this. You're, and you're just like, you're, you can't spring that on somebody. You got to let them know before you start eating so you, so you can make that decision to either stay or, or go at these that point. These are the point. same people, though, that plan the surprise birthday parties and then right. have you pay for it. Yeah. Real quick, how much time we got on the clock? It doesn't matter. Um, so, real, uh, speaking you got three of that, seconds. oh fuck you! What? Another, an, uh, just a real quick dinner disaster. We're talking about that. There was one woman that posted on on tick, uh, Twitter saying um, that her friend invited her to, over to the house, her house, not a restaurant, not anything, and invited her over for dinner. And then after she left, Ven her and asked her for twenty dollars. Wait, wait, wait. So she, she said, hey, you want to come to dinner tonight? Yeah. At my house. Wow. And then like, and since then she's you like, hang out. You need to help pay for this meal? And maybe? then and then she left and then she got a Venmo request wow. for $20. That's awesome. And then uh, on, um, uh, she posted this on Twitter. And then, uh, then apparently this is like a thing. Like a bunch of people like responded like, holy shit, that's horrible. Um, uh, uh, and then other people like kind of sent their... Uh, experiences like that yeah. so it would be like 10 seconds um, da, 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 someone said I, 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 oh that's crazy and I was invited to an outdoor party at work at a work colleague's house in 10 seconds got Time's there oh. came around asking for five dollars a person if you didn't pay you couldn't use the bathroom Whoa. so someone got had a barbecue wow and said hey oh by the way I need five dollars that is that's crazy it's it's the rudest fucking thing. So there's a bunch of stories like that where you know um, where people are like inviting people over for fucking dinner and then saying, "Oh, here I need twenty dollars." No. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, let me, let me get to my story. But before I do, I I also do want to celebrate. I did uh, use uh, I had a bowel movement today. I, I would like to celebrate that. So if I can, uh, you and Jesse, we can go to a restaurant. Yeah, we'll go down. And we'll then when we're done, can we come to your house? Can you make me dinner. So we'll be no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, we'll no. Be even. No, I then I'll, be there, then I'll, I'll Venmo you for the... Uh, See, boom. Tit for tat. Or, what, what was uh, Shia LaBeouf's show? Even, even Stevens. Stevens. Okay, here we go. 15 minutes on the clock. Here we go. This is a story that I, I think a lot of people might have already this heard. This is a story all about how... Yep, I haven't seen the new one. I, I haven't either. I haven't seen the I new one. I don't know if I'm going to. So this is a cool story, and, and if you're not familiar with it, it was it's about a teen who found his dad's unreleased song from the 1970s and how it went viral. So okay. pretty cool. So his name is Zach Montana, so I already feel like oh. this is not his name. <laughs> from right. the get-go. From the get-go. He's related to Hannah. Zach Montana. You, you can watch him on, on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Zach Montana. All right, Zach, here we but go. But he is the son of drummer William Curly Smith. Montana? <sighs> no, not Montana. Interesting. Okay. All right, Zach. All right, like Zach. So already... William Montana. Already, who's the asshole? Um, I know. William Curly... They're both stage names. William Curly... Um, or Zach Montana. Zach Montana and then William Curly Smith. None of them, I'm not I, even, are they related? I don't like any of this. Okay, okay. go ahead. <laughs> so anyway, but so the story goes, he, this, uh, this Zach kid, he's, he's a 19 year old musician. Right. And he's, he was driving in his dad's car and he came across a CD player, which, shut up, I still have CDs. Uh, I have them somewhere, but yeah, yeah. Multiple. Buried, buried in, in like in, in the backyard, like like, yeah. like buried for like 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 a yeah time capsule. Yep, time capsule. Or maybe and I put a, and I put a little cross that I put into the wall. A long time ago. Here lies Biggie Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> this is which was uh, twenty five anniversary. Twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was that was almost a story. Okay, so he's driving and then he comes across this song. He hears this song. It's this disco song, hmm. and he's like, "Whoa, this yeah, is yeah. actually kind of kind of cool, kind of fun." And then the voice starts singing. He's like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. That's my dad. Like, I know that voice. But he had to know his dad was a 
musician. I'm right? sure. Yeah. He well, well so he's a musician. Yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah, son yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And so I think it's probably must be a family. Yeah. Thing. And obviously, I, he hasn't heard all his music. You know. Right. 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 So this was back in January mm-hmm, when he mm-hmm. discovered it. He made a TikTok about it. Right. 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 And so the TikTok, and I saw parts of the TikTok. Right. But playing his dad song for playing, people. Like, Guys, no, check it out. This is really good. Yeah, Wait yeah. till this comes in. And then, so he in uh, he goes to Arizona State. He's a sophomore. Of course. Uh, so he so he decided that he's gonna play for his TikTok followers. Now, well, I don't know how big his following was. Uh, it's bigger well, than ours. Yeah. <laughs> how many followers do we have? Forty five. Forty five. Oh, you you actually with the truth. Yeah, yeah. You, we, went with, we, you went in a truth bomb. Right, because it's just as funny. As <laughs> it's actually more yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah, right. So, exactly. If it was like a millionaire, it would be like, no, 45 is funny because it's real. Okay, and then, so there's like a, there's a horn section. And he's like, oh my God, guys, there's a horn. Check it out. Anyway, but it went viral. Cool, okay. How cool is this? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, his dad, I don't know how old he is now. He's got to be probably in his old 70s, right. maybe 60s. But, so, the song is Surrender to Me. Okay. Okay, so this started in January. He made the TikTok. Right. Well, initially, the song started in 1978. Well, sure, sure, sure. But he shared it. He shared it. He shared it in January. In January, the song is Surrender to Me. It has now got more than one million streams on Spotify. So that's the most impressive to me because you can get a million views on TikTok. Can you? That sounds theoretical. We can't. But Bruce, back me up. Yeah. Um, (laughs) One million views. Like Bruce is going to back me up, right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Because he's in your. Because he's, he's a lead singer. Oh, got it. Oh, uh, I'm backing him up. He should be a backup singer. He's oh, not that gosh, good at singing. I, oh my god. So, uh, so a million views on TikTok. You know, that's like okay, that's impressive. Good for you. But to actually release that, and it's on Spotify and get like listens. That's kind of crazy. What I was really hoping though was that the dad would say, you know what, I'm not going to be on Spotify until they take off Joe Rogan. I wish you would have made a stand. Yeah, make a stand. Thanks for discovering and, me. And, and, and listen back to our a previous episode. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, but how funny would it be like, oh, uh, I'm, not I'm too big for this. <laughs> I, you just, I just got discovered. Yeah. Uh, hey, Spotify. I've been t- waiting for 40 years. Just take down Joe Rogan. And then maybe you can listen to my Surrender to Me disco yeah, song yeah, from That my son found out. <laughs> um, I don't like the name of that song, but I'm sure it's good. Surrender to Me. Yeah. Um, have you heard the song? The, 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 the okay, so this is this now. I didn't know this though. Right. So this this sounds so cool and so sure. amazing because yeah. they even got to go on Jimmy Kimmel and perform That's it. Cool. And I saw it as Renee. That's they super play cool. with the band, and it is a good this, song. There's a but though, but it's coming. Hold okay. on, but it's a good song. And I was thinking, oh, if this was done by Harry Styles, I love Harry Styles. He's the only one that can save us from aliens. Another throwback. Yes, it is. Man, you are full. But Harry, it would be a, a hit. It would be a yeah, number one. Course, oh, I mean, course. it's already got a million views, so maybe... Right. But no, no, no but if it was Harry, it'd be... Oh, know, it'd be huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was a Harry hit. Harry hit. You know? I hope that's you, the name of his next album. You don't you don't shave down below. Oh, if he does a best of, please call it Hits by Harry. Hits by Harry? I like Harry Hits. Harry Hits? Oh, yeah, that's but spelled like hair. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Um, but I, this I didn't know. And then I, I'm just finding this out right now as I'm reading the okay, story. Okay, let's hear it. This is, this is how good of research we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We... we t- Totally pay attention and do this ahead of time. So the dad's best known as the drummer for the band Boston. What? <laughs> He's actually in a real band? From 94 to 2001. So he was uh, an original uh, okay, member. The old school. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not an original member. Wait, real quick. But Boston or Chicago? Oh, I'm going to go Philadelphia. The Philadelphia sound. No jokes. Okay. Uh, I know, I know, uh, but you gotta, you gotta choose one. Probably Chicago. Chicago, right? Yeah. You have to be. That's yeah, yeah. probably Chicago. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Boston had one good album. Sorry, and then uh, Chicago. No, there's there's hits along the way with Chicago yeah. at least. But that's funny. He was actually in fucking Chicago. Oh, nope. Nope. Boston. Uh, uh, but 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 after but, they but broke, he lives in L.A. He lives in Los Angeles. Oh no. So he's. I think that's what we should do. We should need. Boston, we, we need to. Yeah, Los Angeles. More, there needs to be more city band names. Yeah. Right. So Chicago's cool. Boston's cool. New York's too. To much. me, though, it's it's a really it's kind of a dumb name. You know, Chicago was actually supposed to be called CTA. Chicago for the Chicago Transit Trans- Authority. Yeah. They were actually supposed to be called CTA, and they changed it. To, they thought people wouldn't know maybe what CTA was, so they went and to they Chicago. Would have. Yeah, Chicago's cool. Is it though? Just it sounds kind of like like your kind like of it. ideas. I like the font. We're gonna call ourselves blue. Uh, 
but I like city names. Uh, sky, blue sky. You don't. What's what's the? It reminds me of of Anchorman. That you're just like looking. At, are you just? Um, I love lamp. Are you just looking around the room? Right. Yeah. Like just looking for ideas. So, so we are Chicago. I don't like. I don't mind Chicago. I don't like hot Boston. Dogs. Like uh, too much. But Chicago, I'm okay with. Okay. Is there? A, I, I would prefer to be called the Chicago Sound, like the Detroit, like the Motown uh, Sound. I get it. The Philly Sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. That sounds cool to me. I, I get that. It's just the, just the straight name. Right. I, that, that makes sense. We're you know. Is there uh, another way? Think of a city. Is there another cool one? Portland. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got Orlando. One. Orlando's kind of cool, just because the name Orlando. Uh, uh. What, what am I thinking of? Uh, Bakersfield. Uh, Fresno. Bakersfield. Fresno. Fresno. Atlanta. Yeah, so there's he, a show called Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not good. Anyway, so he was, he, I didn't know this. But that's kind so, of cool, actually, yeah. But he's also done session work. So he's done session work for artists such as Rick Springfield, Bette Midler, and Bonnie Raitt. See, I'm, I'm super impressed by, by um, like, ses- I, I, what do you call them? Not session artists, but like just studio artists, you know what I mean? Like studio musicians. Like a lot, you would see that in in the Motown, right? They're like, there's this actually a documentary about it. Like the the band that was just in studio sessions. Oh yeah, fantastic, right, musicians. right, 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 fantastic. right. Fantastic, which is super cool. Like it's it's kind of interesting to me to make your living that way. Where it's like, no, I'm not the bass of this. I'm not the drummer in this band. But I, I, I but you hear this song before? You ever heard? You know, my share anymore? Like I'm I'm in like every fucking song from Motown. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, which yeah. is like it's a super cool legacy. Yeah, just oh, to be is. like I played on the Temptations. And Smokey Robinson, and, and, and you know, uh, um, I was gonna say Martha and Vandellas, but I just like that name. I was thinking of like the Chess Blues label, uh, uh, um, Willie Dixon. This guy, oh he sure, was, he was on almost everything. Just, yeah, he's amazing, that super, super cool. Oh, man. Right. And, and, and that'd be like, a, like it'd be cool, yes, to be like a John Lennon or a Paul McCartney, but it's like I, that'd be kind of cool to have that legacy of like, yeah, this bass that you hear on every fucking cool like soul song from like. From sixty two to whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Oh, no, that's it's, awesome. Like, what? Well, and you can almost did say you, like, did you see the the backing vocals? Did you watch that uh, documentary, Fifteen Feet from Stardom, or Twelve Feet? No, Eight Feet? No, Six Feet? No, no, no. Keep going down. Three, two. No, nah, it was it was. I don't remember. I don't. They think weren't I, that close. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. But it was like the, the story of the backup singers. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And so like you know like Gimme Shelter. Right, right, right. From the Stones and that back that that yeah that screaming right. of the really oh it's so but they good. were just like in a bunch of they were just that's right that they never job. made it as like their own artist right they should hey, have been but that's cool based yeah. on talent oh, like i know God, right? sometimes i see stories of, of of backup singers for this or any but you hear them just sing you're like what the fuck? Oh, like, how, are not, yeah, how are and, they not yeah how are they and there were so many background that, that did become uh, sure. cheryl crow was sure. a backup oh, sure, singer sure, sure, for uh, michael jackson i remember her is that true a singer backup singer okay one of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like I knew this, but now I'm just not like recalling it, but it doesn't Right, matter. right. Uh, and then, well, then we have our own backup singer, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But I, it's just kind of a cool legacy. Anyway, I'm, I'm bringing it back. I, I, I like I like that. Like, I, like same, like you can say, like Smokey Robinson. Like he has his own career, obviously, his, but like how much you wrote for Motown or. Oh, whoever, sure. You know what I mean? So even if he never became Smokey Robinson with his own songs, it's, he. He could have had this. I think he would always be Smokey Robinson. No, no, right. But he he would have had this legacy where it's like I wrote like half of the Motown songs, you know, for ten years. Oh ago. yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So anyway, but anyway, but this is just cool. If you haven't heard the song, listen to "Surrender to Me." It's kind of cool. You can watch the Jimmy Kimmel or just listen to it on Spotify. Right. But it, it is good, and I guess they said he he couldn't get a he didn't have a record deal at the time. So he was just, make, just making music or whatever. Yeah. He had this thing, and that's it's cool. A, at the time, uh, for those that don't know. Uh, back in the late seventies, disco was uh, all the rage. Boo. No, it's all the rage. So it was hard to get this that type out of music out because right. there was so much of it. He said the market was flooded with it. So right, I get and, it. And 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 we were singing even before we started tonight. I right. was singing a disco song. Let's hear it. Um, more than a woman, more than a woman to me. And, and I said it was Morris Day in the Time. And then I was like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> and then I played up Morris Day in the Time. It doesn't matter. And I still don't know who it is. But That's crazy. either way, but disco was huge back then, and so you couldn't get it done. So, But what's cool, though, is that because this the kid, the 19-year-old, right. he's a musician, too. And so the dad is like, hey, this is so awesome. Yeah. Thank you. He's great. But he's actually very excited because he thinks this will bring attention for his own son. Sure, music. sure, sure, sure. Why not? Well, see, and listen. Which is what a father should do. All right. And this is why we got on TikTok. Because apparently enough, you can just fucking uh, blow up 
Like, you know what I mean? I mean, you got to be a little Combust- bit. Combustible. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like a um, a drummer for uh, Spinal Balls. Tap? <laughs> yes. Psh, yeah, right. exactly. Uh, but, but it... it, it so it's I think that's what's good and bad about uh, today's um, technology or, or whatever it, it's there's a it, the market is flooded there's a lot of bullshit because anybody can start a YouTube page anyone can post a video anyone can do a TikTok anyone can post on Instagram anyone can make a podcast right it's, it's flooded because we have the ability to, to, anyone has the ability right to, right to, 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 to do this to TikTok whatever but the good side of it is these people that are crazy super talented who maybe wouldn't have got who wouldn't have been seen or heard also have the ability to blow up and 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 be be seen right? because before you got to go the beebs right just the beebs right I mean, but the, but even yes that's like kind of like the first start of it right. it's like where right. you know, um so it kind of kind of same thing with like uh lonely island like they, they just made funny videos for themselves and now like oh now the writers on snl right right so there's good and bad to it because like you really got to filter and find the good stuff through the all the bullshit right right um otherwise it's, it's kind of cool where like you don't have to go through the steps of knowing somebody or getting a, a, an in somewhere you can just like make your own content and the talent will you know hopefully rise so this now i'm, I'm gonna bring it i'm gonna get real, yeah, gonna get real for a moment well i wasn't i was just being real you were but i'm gonna bring it in okay for, for all these youngins listen to our show we got yeah. we got a lot of young folk do we yep probably not pretty uh lucky I think he's young. I, I, how I, I don't know about Leprechaun Age. I don't know. He, they look the same. He's like two hundred and seventy-five. But he looks good. You know, really good, really good. Must be the yeah, Irish yeah. Spring Water. All the marshmallows he's eating. Well, okay, maybe it's the marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah, the collagen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the marshmallow yeah, it's, it's, and the bones. It's perfect for your skin. It probably is actually. Uh, no, no, but you'll be fat with good skin. Mm, yeah, but he's not fat. He, he looks. Sorry, fat people. I'll erase that. <laughs> I don't care if you're fat. Jeez, oh, I heard something that you're not supposed to call people fat. You're oh, supposed to God. say you, is, you're supposed to say you have fat. We're done because um, the fat doesn't define we were, you. We're listening to a David Bowie song that, that we're I know. talking about. But listen, all the fat, the fat people. doesn't. That's the fat is not years. who you are. So you're not fat. You have fat. Uh, I was trying to get it real, man. Hey, man, you have fat. Oh man. Okay, pause it. <laughs> no, this is in the podcast. Okay, go. Huh. So getting real, right? Is that I feel that. I just thought of this. So this is brilliance in 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 real time. Very humble, but go ahead. Yeah, in real time. Yeah. No, no, no. But that you're right. There's all so many people yes. have access to making a YouTube page, yeah. TikToks. Yeah. Uh, we're putting ourselves out there. Instagrams. Sorry, I had to I had to jack off that turkey. Where's the new, where is it? This is like this is the reference podcast. You do that like for the first time. Like, like what is happening? Yeah, like, no, but I would say this. I would say that that. It's almost like parenting. Like sure, okay. Okay, that it, anybody can be a parent. Yes. It yeah. does not yes. take much of anything to yeah, be a yeah. parent. Yeah, you don't need any kind of a certificate or test taken or nothing. You no. Just, yeah. So, no, you right. just gotta stick that there right. and right. things right. happen. But, boing, 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 boing. yes. Thank you. Uh, but but <laughs> to do it well right. is right. hard and, yes. and that's difficult. Yes. And yeah. And there's takes a difference. effort and work. yes, and I think that in a way I would say that that's kind of like the yeah. same thing with the uh, so much social media. Right, anyone can do anything. You can't phone it in, right? Like right. so, yes, everyone has the ability to do that. Yeah, right. But to keep be... talking. Yes. Oh wait. Okay. No, no, I'm talking. Okay. No, I'm on my phone. Uh, no, no. Everyone has the ability to do that. Um, which is which is true, but like to be good at it is something different. Can you the, hold on for a minute? Oh, sure. I gotta take this call. This is this works for this, but Nine. it doesn't work for this. Okay. Um, but that's what I mean. Yeah, with uh, anyone, ha- anyone can buy a mic and a, and a and a camera and all that shit. But uh, again, it's just good and bad because okay. you got to filter through a lot more now. Right. But these people that would never maybe had to say so can actually show their talent which sure. is kind of cool so normally I, I want to ask if we have any takeaways oh sure and I, I don't know if I want to right now I think what I want to ask because I didn't get to it my time's up is uh, 30 years from now right your, your, your daughter finds something of yours and is like oh wow oh, right, right, right. like what like so for this kid it was like wow I found this yeah. cool music for my dad back in the late 70s amazing right I'm gonna make it viral so see what happens what would be the thing yeah for you 
Um, you think that it'd be t- so either two things. If I'm being uh, like, not, I'm not trying to be funny. Okay. It'd be maybe a couple like sketches that okay. I that I did. Yeah, yeah. Which my, you know, which are like not bad, but okay. Please uh, post a picture on Instagram of one of these sketches. Uh, no. Okay. But some sketches okay. or some videos of like sketches slash stand up. You know what I mean? Of, of like where it might be embarrassing. Yeah. But like holy shit, my dad did this. Okay. So something like that, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And see, for me, it would be that one porn I did back in. Mm, Here we go. I'm trying to be real. To, and then this guy comes up with Jesus Christ. Um, that's who I played. I was Jesus Christ. Uh, it, it was it was um, the resurrection. Should have done the, the podcast like this because the second time. Okay, that's all we got tonight. Thank you for you're, listening. You're not going to say a real answer of what they find. Oh, uh, nothing good. Honestly, nothing well, good. Right. I have songs that I've written yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I've recorded them on, on cassette tapes. That's cool. And our, our theme writer, Mark Bertoldo, he would uh, vouch for me to know that, oh, it's horrible. And he, he, it's, it should be buried with me. Oh, well. I mean, we're not that good at anything. But, That's true. But, but there's things. There's things they could find. Sure. Yeah. But so, but we're going to bring out, uh, because it's St. Patty's Day again, Lucky wanted yeah. to come back out one more time. <sighs> Does he? He does. He does. So let's see. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, the Irish never quit, do they? Oh, I see, see, see. Oh, Chris wants to fight me. Come on, fight me, Chris. Come on, fight me. Oh, uh, put him up. Put him up on the dukes, you know. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Oh, I get to, I'm going to go to Notre Dame and fight the Irish. Um, oh, da, 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 da. Kevin Garnett, suck on this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know if I'm okay with it.